Hello, folks. Oh my gosh. Uh, welcome back. Welcome to the lounge here. Uh, this is George, and uh, today is March 18th, 2024. Um, don't have any new new news right now to report on any of our missing folks that we've been uh, doing stories on. So I thought today, or at least right right now, we would uh, I'd do a little bit of uh, different uh, stuff. And I found some crazy videos on uh, line. And you know how you just kind of flip through the videos and just these little short videos. Well. I thought I would um, go through and um, we'll do some. But first, I want to go to this uh, right here. Let's go. This here is the uh, Daily Horoscope. And I thought it'd be interesting to see what uh, today's date, which is uh, March 18th, 2024. So what today's... Um, horoscope tells us so we got march and then we have uh, what i say the 18th okay and then we'll just put 2024 and i believe that's pisces i believe that's what it is let's see what it says here okay yep it's pisces all right and uh so the day is monday and uh let's see i'm gonna try to get this to talk so you can see, because my me reading, I, I don't have my glasses real good, so... The Cancer Moon blows kisses to Venus and Jupiter this morning, dear Pisces, helping you feel at peace with yourself and personal journey. Unfortunately, the ground beneath you could shake as the day unfolds and Luna squares off with Mercury, the uh -oh. nodes of fate, and Chiron. Ooh. Move slowly and steadily toward the unknown, taking care to avoid drama. Emotions will run high within and around you, which may cause you to disconnect. Uh -oh. Work with your hands, spend a few moments outside, or seek creative outlets when you need to center. Mm -hmm. Your spirits lift when Uranus stirs this evening, making it a good time to laugh and have fun with friends. Oh, okay. Day how unfolds and Luna squares off with see. Mercury. All right. Well, how about that? Now, I'm not a Pisces. Uh, I am under the sign of Cancer, which is in July. But if you are Pisces, well, there's your uh, daily horrors scope. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Let's go to uh, something else here that's uh, interesting. I think it's uh, the one I want. Yeah. Let's go to the eight ball. <laughs> I saw this and I said, hmm, I wonder, I wonder if we can get this to work. Okay, folks. So here's what you got to do. So think of a question that you've been pondering about most of the time it's a yes and no question that you ask uh, and we'll ask the eight ball so i have my question uh, i won't share it right now but um let's see i've got mine so give yourself a second what do you think you thinking of something yes or no you've been wanting to know about something let's uh let's ask the eight ball. Here we go. Okay, and I think I just hit the mouse or click it. See what it says. Here it goes. <laughs> Concentrate and ask again. Okay. All right. Okay. Hmm. Concentrate. Concentrate. Okay. I'm thinking of my question, so it didn't didn't have an answer. Okay. So I'm thinking of it. Let's see what it gives us. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Oh my, wow. Are you serious? Okay. Okay. Eight ball. Uh, yeah. Got to get a little better than this. Okay. Uh, one more time. Three times the charm. It's going to answer our question. Either yes or no or something. Let's see. Yes, Deb. Oh! Ha! Good. Okay. Uh, my, my, uh, my question was, uh, should I continue doing these silly videos? Well, the eight ball said... Yes, of course, you should, yes. <laughs> okay, very good. Um, oh, I want to go on to this one. If I can, I want to change courses here. And um, I found this. I love this. I want to leave a link in the uh, uh, down below in the information. It's, this is the word wall. And you can put your 
own title and all that. So if you're a school teacher and, you know, we're, we're at home, you want to teach the children something, you know, uh, you can do use this. But I thought I'd have a little fun with it, with the, uh, the psychic kind of world, you know. And uh, so let's just see what it does. Now, I put it on spring, but you can you can set this up any way you want it and have it to ask questions. So I'm going to go full screen. And uh, so here we go. Okay, now here is all of the different... Uh, uh, possibilities. So let's say okay. So there we go. And now we're going to we need to shuffle, right? And this is the the question is what is going to be happening in our life in the upcoming future? What possibly could be happening in the upcoming future? Mm. It's the shuffling really well. Okay. And let's see what I do. Random spinner. I don't know. What does this do? Oh, okay. Right, here it is. And are you ready? Let's see what it says. Oh, you will sell cars. Okay. Well, how about that, folks? Uh, I'm not so sure if that's going to be coming true for me, but okay. Sell cars. But you could do all kind of of different things with this but I'll leave the uh, a link down below but I really like this uh, yeah it's, it's really cool okay so let's go back and uh, let's see what's next oh yes let's watch a few of the videos that I have found online uh, a couple of them and um, yeah this is uh, oh, this is interesting you know okay here we go all right, so let me see if I can get this in a go here. Okay, so let's set the scene. So we have a, it looks like a, uh, like a skier or a snowboarder maybe on the slopes. And he's not moving. He's just standing there. But you can notice in the background, well, there's people coming down. What do you think the odds of something's going to happen? Let's find out. Hmm. Oh, good. God. What? Oh, wow. My goodness. Okay. <laughs> okay. That, yeah. Ooh. Okay. That might, that may have hurt. That, that may have hurt. Okay. So here's our next one. Let's see if you can figure this out. Now, this fella here, he's in a stadium, as you can see. But what do you think he's getting ready to do? Um, and let's, uh, let's just find out. Here we go. If I can get it to work. Uh-oh. The internet is broke. We may not find out. Oh, no. Uh, oh, gosh. Okay, let me, let me do this. Let me go back to here. And, uh, let's see if we can get it to work. Well, we may not be able to get it. Um, you know, that's, that's what happens when you do internet, uh, stuff. Uh, I wonder if I can reload the page. Maybe that would help. Oh, okay. I, hold on. I, whoop. I think we may have it, but let me let me go back. All right. Okay, here we go. Let's try this. Sorry about that, folks. You know, <laughs> that, uh, you know, trying to do it live. Here we go. Yes, that's what he's getting at. Ooh. Hope you can see that. This paper air airplane. Wow. Oh, there it is. Oh, wow. What is it? Oh wow. <laughs> wow. Wow, how about that? Mm -hmm. That's that was fun. Okay, <laughs> how did that happen? That that was that was good. Um, and let's see. Oh yes, okay. And here's another one. I hope I can get this one to work. Okay, let me set this up. All right. So we have what looks like 
maybe a, uh, of course, two people in a car. We've got a young fella. It looks like he's on the driver's side, and then we have the older fella next to him, and it looks like we have a little kid in the back. What do you think the situation is going on here? Well, let's find out. I thought this was, well, it's not funny, but it is funny. Here we go. And hopefully if the internet works. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Sorry. It's all right. It's no problem. Oh my. No, 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 no. <laughs> Holy cow. I don't know what they hit, but it was it's enough right. to knock his. It's all right. It's no problem. Knock his, knock his glasses off. Oh wow. That's okay. That's that is funny, but it it's not funny to them, I'm sure. So, um. Okay, so we want to do... Oh, I want to go to this. I'm going to show you this. I found... Um, oh, my goodness. Um, I found this. So hopefully I can get this to work. Let's go. Yeah, but there we go. And I got to get it to uh, bring it up on here. There we go. Okay, you see my mouse. There we go. Okay. Now, here is... Uh, um, this is an app that does tarot card readings. And I thought it'd be interesting to see what the uh, the Mademoiselle here, what she brings up in her card. So are you ready? So let's see. Let's do. We have a choice to draw and day card. So we'll do all three. So folks, are you ready for a online reading by Mademoiselle? Let's see what she. Let's see what she deals out. Here we go. Oh, Lord. Ooh ooh ooh. Look at there, there's some wands and the cups. Uh, was that the five of cups? And uh, oh, listen, I don't know if it's reversed on us or the, I think it is. Yes, that's a reverse. So let's see what the res oh, let's see what the results is here. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. The pass. Okay, so this is the pass. Six of wands and it's reverse. Mm. The chapter often points to the lack of determination and to slow action hmm, okay this is from the past yep makes sense okay and uh the uh unnecessary unnecessary viewing of others and the uh, avoidance of responsibility hmm, okay i think i know who this is talking about it is a character of the uh, discouragement and recklessness <laughs> yep i know who this is talking about how about you folks is this talking to you on this one Possibly, maybe. So none of the decisions taken taken can be justified. Yep. The card advises you to wait for the possibilities where you can build something on a solid base. The foundation is important. Okay. Uh, yeah. So the present card. Let's see what it says. Um, uh, oh, the four of wands. The card of the promises you... A promising experience. Ooh, okay. So it's upright. So this is a good positive card. There is no room for uh, inactions. Hmm. The card provides a change for you that will most likely please you. Oh, okay. Like that. Positive uh, means perspectively uh, and a significant stage in life, e.g., Formalizing a formalizing a relationship or a promotion. Negativity, it can mean lack of support from relatives, uh, uh, quarrels within the family, or a badly finished romance. Okay, okay, I know who this and I know this what this is talking about. Okay, so what our future? <laughs> The Five of Cups. Okay, so this is always an interesting card when it's pulled. The, the card symbolizes disappointment and depression. Ooh, a clash of dreams and desires with reality. It brings a lot of anxiety and suspicious to the table. It often shows the money spent on an unsatisfactory purposes. Yep, unsatisfactory purposes. Yeah. It is worth treating your disappointments as an opportunity to bring an end to the past and hope for a better tomorrow. Okay. 
Uh, Mademoiselle, I'm not sure if I'm liking all these cards, but the present card, I can live with that, I don't think. But the past and the future, I don't know. What do you think, folks? Don't know about that one. Hmm. But interesting. I, I think it was very, very interesting indeed. And let's see. What else do I have? Okay. I believe that we will wrap it up with this one right here. I kind of like this one. You know, since we've talked about the eight ball and the tarot cards and the spinning wheel, well, why can't we have the fortune cookie for our final finale? What do you think, folks? I love fortune cookies. When I go to the uh, Chinese restaurants, I love getting the cookies and just breaking them open and seeing what they say. So are you ready? Here we go, folks. Let's see what it says. Here we go. One, two, three. I love the cracking sound. It sounds like an egg. I don't know. Love is at your hands. Be glad and hold on to it. Hmm. Okay. Well, I like that. How about that? And there's our lucky numbers. Should I play that today? Ooh. You know what? I'm going to write that number down. 55, 26, 46, 54, wait a minute, 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 53, and then I guess the Powerball number, is that what that is? 18, so that's it. I'm going to write the date so we'll know. 3, 18, 24, there we go, all right, well, how about that? <laughs> okay, that's interesting. Well, folks, there we go, uh, it was just a little fun. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. I did. I love doing that. I'll try to come up. If you like these, uh, this little video, let me know in the comments. I'll make some more. Uh, I am keeping up with uh, Riley Strain, uh, missing person. Uh, Sebastian Rogers. Uh, we need to know more about him. Um, so hopefully, uh, and then we have, let me, before we go, let me bring this up. We have a young lady here, Skyla Ching, I think, 15. Uh, we need to find her. So if you know anything about her whereabouts, if you will, please get in touch with the proper authorities, you know. Uh, even 911, you can tell them, hey, I know, I've seen this girl. So, yeah, and she was, she's been missing since uh, December 15, 2023, so... Oh, I hate when these, uh, the kids and the adults, too, when they go missing and nobody knows what happened to them, so. Well, folks, thank you so much for watching. I may be back on the day of some news breaks, uh, or if I think of something um, outrageous to uh, film. I do appreciate all of you watching, um, and I know some of you have not hit the subscribe button, and if you will, if you be so kind to do that for me. That'd be great. Uh, I'm trying to grow my channel here, and it would be fun to uh, get more people, uh, you know, involved, especially with the missing people, you know, and stuff. That's what I want to kind of concentrate on, especially, and if there's big news, I want to talk about that, because, um, you know, something, especially when it comes to the missing people, it's just, it's so strange how things happen like that, and they just, you know, it's like they vanish, but we know that they don't just vanish. Something happened to them. So, but I just wanted to have a little uh, fun with the uh, videos and stuff. And I kind of liked all that. I, let me know what you think about the eight ball, the the tarot, uh, Mademoiselle uh, tarot reading cards. That was interesting. I think my favorite was the videos and the driving lesson. I think that was it. <laughs> that was it. Okay, folks. Well, thanks so much for watching. I hope each and every one of you have a really wonderful and blessed day. And uh, do something good for yourself uh, today. And do something good for someone else, if you possibly can. And all the way around, just be safe out there. And, folks, this is George. And until next time, well, we'll see you down the road. Bye-bye.